How'd he do? I think he got it. Got it. Taylor hits this shot the way he wants. The ball's above his feet, but if he hits this shot the way he wants to, it's going to come out low and driving. He compresses the ball extremely well. And that, let's go. That is going to push him into a tie for the lead. Here comes Billy stepping in. <laughs> Sneaks up on it, doesn't he? Once he's over the ball, he doesn't hang around. And it works. Bingo, Billy. He's adding a yard or two to the total behind the tee here. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Just managerially so sound. And then he steps up there and hits the right shot every single time. That's a master class in how to play the game. Good par at the first. That's one of the toughest holes on the course. And a great look here at number two. Scotty Scheffler is now at 10 under par. Everybody in the field looking up. Real turnaround for him this season in his play. Really struggled last year. He's ball striking. Look at that scorecard. Four consecutive four birdies. in a row. And I would go to four. Tony Finau kind of cruising along after that 62 on Friday, but had a tough day yesterday. Not a great start today, but perhaps maybe that gets him, going. Yeah, maybe that gets him started. That was not an easy pitch from over there. Short sided, but he handled it beautifully. This hit pretty hard right towards the middle of the green. He'll have a putt for Eagle. Toasty told me yesterday his sore neck might have been caused by stress. Bogey too. Now this to get that bounce back. Walks that one in and pulls within one of the lead. Get in the hole! Get in the hole! 25 birdies have been made on the third hole today. And the world number one alone at the top. He's putted well this week. Top five in strokes gained putting coming into today. Back to back birdies for Steven. Yeah, I think you've got to take it really on that line with that wind hammering down there from right to left. Well, that is right where you just pointed. And he is picking Wait, it up quickly. I hope he finds the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was lucky. Sort of hopped through there a little bit and kicked it offline. Going to be an yeah, easy but... four for Horschel. Well, yeah. Exactly what you said, though, Craig. You know, you try to make it, you chip it. That's his fifth of the day on the front nine to go along with one bogey. Pours it in. First birdie of the week there at five for Skins. The man who won this event the last time it was played here at Memorial Park, that was in the fall of 2022. And Tony, dial it up. Well, he lost his putting touch yesterday. It seems like he's gotten it back there. You see that scorecard. And they are so happy to have this event back in the spring for the first time since it moved to the fall. We'll latter see. part of last decade. You know, the players unanimously talking about the golf course conditions from the fairways. They want a putt there. Taylor Moore has an excellent look at birdie here to get to double digits under par. Well, on the other side of where Grazerman was. Oh, and a solid putt there for Taylor Moore. Said he wanted to just make the cut, ease his way into the week. Here he is on the seventh, and they're playing split tees and threes. Malnani has just enjoyed a magical few days. Last week at the Valspar, his second career PGA Tour victory, and then how about a hole in one at seven as it rattles in his third career ace on the PGA Tour. Mr. Smiles is yeah. doing it again. Sales of yellow golf balls are going up. And then there's a little backstop, so he's going to be careful with not hitting this too far. Just right of it. Okay, three birdie opportunities coming up out here at 12. Billy Horschel has had his run of birdies today. This for another one at the 12th. Yeah, he's played a lot of good golf this week. You're right. 
birdied uh, the second, third, the fourth, fifth, turn at 31. This was Jaegers a moment ago, hole high and two, so his third and trying to get it up and down for birdie. He's got a good chance in his 135th PGA Tour start, still looking for that breakthrough. And this just might be his day. And as a birdie for Jaeger. Kind of looking forward to his reaction on any shot now. He's all of a sudden the chaser. And that right at it, too. Oh. That's just barely made it over the fringe. Now that it has all day, just whipping straight downwind. One of the fastest players on the course right now, Jaeger. And that's going a little bit left. Right at oh, it. What a shot. Took it on. Wind is hard left to right. Yep. And Jaeger reaches 12 under par. And Steven Jaeger's in rarefied air for him right now. He's fifth in putting this week, and he loves these greens. Massive putt for Jaeger. Got the pace. Oh, it looks good. Oh, looks oh, great. What a oh, save for Steven save. Jaeger. Oh, it looks nonplussed by that, like it was no big deal. That was everything. Just left of the flag stick. And it's a beauty. Just past hole high for Scheffler to have an eagle look, a really good eagle look. It never was in. Probably the worst putt he hit all day. To get to that same 11 under number as this is anything but settled. All of those names you see there. Trying to hit a cut and hold it up against that right to left wind. This is right at it. Shuffler right at it. Gives himself a great birdie look. One looks like in the clutch. What a shot. He's had so many missed opportunities in this round. Didn't birdie the eighth, had wedge into 10, didn't make birdie. Good look at 12, knocked it off the back of the green, didn't birdie 13. Contact headed left to the flag stick towards the center of the green. Close as you can come to not going in. It just leaves the door open for Scheffler to try to force a playoff. Wow, Jaeger comes home the entire second nine with nine straight pars. His wife Shelby just couldn't wait to get out there and celebrate her husband's first win. It still could happen if Scheffler misses. Steven Yeager has broken through. A winner on the PGA Tour. Tell you what, great for Steven Yeager. Scotty Scheffler is going to rue that short miss day two from a foot and a half. There's their baby Harrison. You know, a similar scene what we saw with the Malnati's last week. The emotion that comes out, it was Malnati's second win, but Jaeger finally gets it done at the age of 34. Smile for the camera, Harrison. Dad's a PGA Tour winner. We'll have a word with him when we come back. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.